Hello, this is Sally Ann. I've got a little project to show you now. As as you may know, if you've been watching my YouTube's, my tripod isn't working very well, so I'm going to have to hand hold this. So I hope you don't get sick as I wobble this about. Let's have a look at the project. And here it is. It's a beach hut uh, photo album, which um, ooh, um, is. Let me just lift it and get up some close-ups, which has, as you can see, an anchor, some flowers. I love the life ring and the wooden perch. This string on the side. And yes, now in here, I don't know if you can see very well, underneath there's some perspex, but underneath that is some sand and some shells, and it's also along this side here. It actually goes right away the sort of along, as you can see behind my thumb, just poke in behind there, you can see a little bit. And if I just twist around, there you go, get a bit of view underneath. Um, and so, yeah, this is the, the album cover, I suppose. And let me put it down and I can just then give you a, let me just come back a bit and I just turn it around. The back's pretty, pretty plain, but you get an idea of it. Now what's interesting is the lid. That then, as you can see, is what holds the album. And it's the album that's inside. And this one um, is for Harrison, my grandson. It kind of stands up like so, if you if you like. And let's just see. We'll just sort of do a quick squeeze around the outside. It has some decoration. This I think is bow bunny paper. This I think is uh, graphic forty five. Um, Gosh, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's I've had it for ages. It just seemed to serve its purpose today. And then, um, oh sorry, I'm probably making you giddy. On these edges here, I just used a Tim Holtz vintage lace die just to kind of neaten the edges. So let's have a look on the inside. I'm having to do this a little bit one-handed. But when you drop it down, let me just come back up. You, in the front, I made a a flap, and here's a message for to Harrison, which I thought the only reason I like it is it's got that beautiful little sandcastle, which is one of Jolie's boutique things. But on the back is a picture of the wonderful boy. That's Harrison, and so I thought that would pop inside that pocket there. And then if I just prop these up against the, the house, or the, the bird house, um, if you take these out, you kind of see each of the holders of the tags, the photo album, is like a boat. And what I did is I took uh, the six winners of the Sydney Hobart Yacht Race in order and got their logos and what have you um, to put in there. Let me just put those tags back and I'll flip them on forward and you can see. So they just sort of sit inside. So that's Wild Oats and there you've got Perpetual Will. Um, that's the second winner. Then you had Ragamuffin 90 um, and then Blackjack. And you can see I just decorated the, the sails with the stickers. Let's just get that bit of tie out of the way. And this one's um, Beau Geste. You can see the little, I don't know if you can see the shape of the, the boat. And then lastly was um, Guacamo, or Giacomo, I think. So, yeah, in each of the six pockets are tags. And I've started this one off. There's a lovely picture of um, Harry. And I've left a little tag there for him to fill out what that was. So I started him off in some respects and each of these tags has quite a bit of real estate so I stamped this with some just right stamps and added some stickers 
and there's again I did some template with some fishes and stickers on the back there with some this I think is um I don't know the template I can't remember this is one of the six by six and I'll put it on my blog so you can see but the beauty about these tags is you then got some real estate inside and I thought he might want to do some writing here or stick a photo or what have you so each of them has you know those as well as the the little one that goes um, inside I might do some photographs of these so you can see more close up what I've done um, this one I don't think I put a photo on it but I use more of that graphic 45 this paper I think is a Stella Rose. Again, it's a 12 by 12 paper pad that I got at uh, one of, I think, the Brisbane Expo. Um, that's just such great paper. Then this one, again, I put a picture of Harry on there, some, and a little banner that he can fill out. And again, some, that's on the back actually, so he can put that on the, the front there and do some different things with it. And that then just goes back into the die and he's also a fan of cricket and I just happen to have a picture of him um, on the crease as a sort of little tag that I thought was a great picture Harry on the crease again more that's some base coat Hescro, uh, base coat papers so some tags there yeah. I do apologise if this is wobbling around a bit, but I hope it gives you an idea. And then this one, sort of the sequence starts again really. So I just stuck with the blues, um, the yellows and the greens. And so they're pretty similar in terms of um, colour. Then the back page, and equally he could put um, a photograph on the back here if he if he wishes. So that's that's the album really. Um, the opportunity for him to to work on that. There you go. Okay, bye. <laughs>